Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for our presentation titled Analyzing Monoclonal Antibody Glycosylation at Multiple Levels Using the 6545XT Advanced Bio LCQTOF. It's my pleasure to introduce today's speaker, speaker, Dr. David Wong, Senior Application Scientist for LCMS Solutions at Agilent Technologies. For a complete biography on our speaker, you may visit the tab at the top of your screen. If any questions arise during the presentation, we encourage you to submit them in the Q&A box. Our speaker will be addressing all of the questions submitted following this presentation. So right now, please join me in welcoming Dr. Wong. I will now turn the presentation over to him. Hello, everyone. Thanks again to this Lab Blue Sky King Symposium. My name is David Wong and I'm an application scientist at Agilent, focusing on the biopharma application development. In this presentation, I would like to give a short introduction on how Agilent is focusing on providing an end-to-end -end solution uh, from the sample prep to data analysis for several biopharmaceutical workflow. We have developed four major levels of the glycan or glycoform relative quantitative analysis workflow. Each workflow requires very degree of sample preparation, data acquisition, as well as the data processing method. As the result, you will get a different type of information from the different workflow. Now I would like to talk about the events that we have made in each of these workflow for glycoform or glycan relative quantitative analysis. Designing an instrument and consumable that work together seamlessly across the entire workflow allow us to design and deliver a complete and efficient uh, solution for the biopharmaceutical uh, application. We have developed a complete solution from the sample prep and the sample separation, uh, sample detection to data processing uh, for all the major biopharma workflow, such as the intact antibody analysis, antibody subunit analysis, and the body uh, peptide mapping or release glycan analysis. In the sample prep area, we have the SMR Bravo liquid handling platform, which to simplify the sample preparation, allows high throughput and provide excellent reproducibility. You can use the SMR Bravo to purify sample using the different type of cartridges, such as the protein A, or protein G for antibody, C18 for protein digest, titanium dioxide for faster uh, peptide enrichment. For the sample separation, uh, Agilent 1290 Infinity 2 UHPLC uh, is an ideal system with a full selection of advanced bio LC columns for all major workflow. We also have a 2D LC uh, with a multiple head cutting technology available. If you have a complex sample or want to increase the sample uh, separation power uh, in the omic uh, analysis. While we are focusing on the liquid chromatography, I do want to mention that uh, the Agilent 7100 capillary electrophoresis system it is fully supported with the 6545XT Advanced Bio LCQ TOS system for completely, completely integrated CEMS interface. The new 6545XT Advanced Bio LCQ TOS has a unique feature that enhances the usability for the analysis of antibody and many other biomolecules. The spectral quality of the large uh, molecule like antibody have been improved drastically, uh, mainly due to the improve in the top wrecking. Also, uh, a greater than four times increase in signal or sensitivity uh, was achieved using the large molecules from autotune. Uh, this improvement allows for more uh, confident identification of the low level uh, isoform in the sample. The 6545QTOF system can also be used for routine peptide mapping and whole cells protein identification with the new Iteris MSMS data acquisition program. 
the mass hunter biocom from 10.0 is a one-stop protein analysis software that support all major biopharma workflow data analysis. From the intact antibody, uh, intact mass deconvolution, glycoformulated quantitative analysis, peptide mapping, protein sequence coverage to glycan profiling. Now let's talk about the intact antibody glycoform characterization workflow. Um, how you prepare an intact protein has a lot of the impact on the information you get. Sample preparation plays a key role in the final accuracy and sensitivity when analyzing protein. More importantly, the intact protein can be prepared a variety of ways to get access of the in different information about the molecule. The SMI Bravo system provides a simple user interface to perform protein purification as well as other protein manipulations. Since every protein behaves uh, differently, uh, we have the portfolio of antibody, uh, Agilent's BioLC column available, offering a range of different separation cap uh, capabilities. We have particular uh, had good success for rapid separation of the inter antibody, as well as the reduced light and heavy chains of the, the subunit using this PLRPS 1000 uh, angstrom column. The 6545 advanced bio LCQ top has a several uh, feature and design element that directly benefit to the intact protein analysis. Now let's talk about these features. The intact protein data quality that is produced by the 6545 XT is incredibly detailed and accurate. This is due to the improve of the vacuum design. Uh, and reduce the fry tube pressures almost an order of magnitude better than other uh, time of flight systems. We have also developed a new tuning algorithm to specifically optimize the entire system uh, for analysis of very large molecule when you need it to. This is the next advance, uh, advancement of the uh, Agilent uh, Swarm Auto Tune in order to uh, accommodate the system performance uh, to your applications. The improved spectrum quality and uh, large molecule tune has greatly improved our large molecule uh, transmission in the mass spec. Now, since we can see a higher M over C ion, uh, we extended the mass range all the way up to 30,000 M over Z. Lastly, we have included uh, a gate vial in the front end of the optic, then uh, that allow us to seal the manifold uh, and remove the sampling capillary from basic maintenance. So you don't have to vent the system uh, and then later on pump it down. So that means you have a less time waiting for the system uh, to be ready and uh, you have more time to run in sample. In the mass spec data analysis, uh, analysis area, the mass hunter biocom firm is our software program dedicated to biologic analysis. So this is a very powerful tool that can be set up to analyze your data automatically. As the sample is finishing acquiring, uh, you have the option to have it automatically being processed by biocom firm, which means that integrating the uh, chromatography peak and extracting the protein spectra, uh, deconvoluting the spectrum to get the intact protein mass and matching those masses to your predicted or expected sequence. So this is the user interface of, for the mass hunter biocom form when you are viewing the intact protein data. The protein sample that you have opened up uh, in, is in the sample table area on the top. Um, the data was automatically processed and then now it's been reviewed. The chromatogram was integrated 
and um, the mass spectrum extracted from the peak um, showing uh, on the left side. So now the raw protein spectrum was deconvoluted to a zero charge mass spectrum um, that's shown in the middle here. Um, and each peak found in the deconvoluted spectrum showed up as an entry in the biomolecule table at the uh, bottom here, the table. Now with the proposed modifications such as the glycoform form and the mass shift, uh, all the detailed information is in the table here. So additionally, so each biomolecule can be attracted uh, to view uh, where the uh, where it form is showed up in the chromatography run. Bioconfirm software program also allow user to compare a specific biomolecule, uh, for example, the G1F plus G1F glycoform between multiple samples or even a batch samples. Once the biomolecule is selected for comparison, a filter will be set up and other information will be filtered out in the biomolecule table. So this is the results on the intact NIST antibody glycoform relative uh, quantitative analysis. 10 replicate injection uh, were run and the bar chart showing that uh, similar results integrated by either the peak height or by peak area and they are all with a good uh, ISD value. The ma major advantage of this intact antibody workflow is that it enable customer to gain rapid assessment of the major glycoform uh, of the intact and the body. Each sample run is only four minutes. However, uh, each glycoform peak uh, represents a combination of two glycans from both sides of the heavy chains. So therefore, additional calculation is needed to figure out the true value of those individual glycans, for example, G0F, G1F or G2F. We have also developed a glycoform quantitative analysis workflow uh, at the antibody subunit, especially the heavy chains level. Again, very similar lab setup is needed for this workflow. You need the SMF Bravo system, Agilence 1290 Infinity 2 USPLC with the PLRP column, uh, the 6545XT advanced bio LCQ top, and the bioconfirm 10.0 software. In this workflow, one can either perform a full reduction of the intact antibody and then turn it into a heavy or light change of subunits. Or uh, you can perform the IDEX enzymatic digestion first and then followed by the reduction to generate the FC molecule, which have the uh, glycan still attached. So in both cases, they are building protocol in the SMF Bravo system to perform this step. We have also published a couple of the app notes covering this application area. This is the total ion chromatogram and the uh, decomoluted mass spectrum of the NIST antibody subunit. A PLRPS column was used in this uh, workflow. So as you can see, excellence liquid chromatography separation of the light chain and heavy chain was achieved using the very short SPLC gradient. And show in the left panel here. So under the heavy chain, uh, Area so peak three major glycoform uh, G1, G0F, one G1F, and G2F was observed, and the relative quantitation abundance uh, was calculated. So it's also worth to mention that a full reduction on the NIST and WD sample is required to reduce the heterogeneity of the heavy chains and to obtain accurate quantitative information. So the, as you can see here, 
the average percent of the quantitation value of the free Geico form uh, from 10 technical replicate was, was calculated and show it as 39% uh, or 48% and 13%. Uh, the average standard deviation of this results was less than 0.3%. Now let's look at the Geico peptide workflow for Geikin relative coin analysis. The SMF Bravo system was also used for antibody purification, uh, proteolytic digestion, and sample cleanup. The digest sample was then run onto both the Agilent's advanced bio uh, peptide mapping, which is at this reverse phase C18 column, and also the advanced bio glycan mapping column, which is the uh, helix column for comparison. So under the routine uh, reverse phase PLC condition, peptides are separated by their hydrophobicity. But the glyco peptide uh, are more hydrophilic, so uh, it has a short retention time on the reverse phase column. It would just elude it in the first couple of minutes. However, uh, the helix column is the orthogonal method to the reverse phase column. So where the HPLC gradient is reversed, uh, high resolution in the separation uh, was achieved for glycopeptide. And as you can see, all the major glycopeptide uh, were eluded between 28 to uh, 34 minutes. The relative quantitation on all identified peptides, uh, including the Geico peptide, was also automatically calculated using either the peak height or peak area uh, of the mass spectrum. One feature of the BioConfirm 10.0 software is that users have the ability to select or deselect a certain peptide for grouping in the relative quantitation analysis. In the reverse phase separation, uh, a set of free Geico peptide with the sequence of EEQ, uh, starting EEQ, or the six Geico peptide uh, with the sequence starting the PK, TKPR uh, was identified. But however, in the uh, reverse phase uh, method, the same group of uh, Geico peptide were uh, co eluded so its poor chromatography resolution uh, was observed. So on the other hand, when we use the helix uh, column for separation, uh, a great resolution uh, for the separation of the same set of the glycopeptide uh, was achieved as shown in this slide. The four GAIKEN uh, relative coin analysis workflow is on the instant PC label release GAIKEN sample. In this workflow, the SMF Bravo liquid handling system with a GAIKO prep plus rapid and GAIKEN sample preparation kit uh, with the instant PC label uh, from the POSAN was used. Uh, the total sample prep time was about two to three hours. So this the representative representative uh, chromatogram of the end glycan uh, from the NIST and the body. Uh, we have the fluorescent data as well as the mass spec data. So the fluorescent chromatogram on the top panel revealed that more than fifteen glycan peak uh, were detected. The glycosylation pattern of the major uh, abundance of glycan, such as the C0F, G1F, and uh, G1F glycol form or G2F, uh, was comparable between this fluorescent and also the mass spec data. Uh, the personal compound database, uh, the PCDL library, containing the accurate mass and the structural information of this glycan uh, is used for identification using the Agilent's preparatory uh, five by formula algorithm. The relative sum abundances of the top seven most 
abundance uh, and guide can was calculated and, and compare uh, from the, the MS analysis. So here are the relative quantitation uh, results comparison uh, from the all four level of the GAICO form or GAICAN workflow uh, on three major GAICAN molecule, the G0F, G1F, and G2F. As you can see, these results are quite con consistent with each other uh, within just a few percentage. So in conclusion, we have developed a complete and efficient workflow solution for antibody glycoform characterization by integrating uh, the Agilent's SMF Bravo liquid handling uh, platform for the sample pep, the UHPLC technology uh, for the separation, and Agilent 6545XT advanced bio LCQ top system for the detection, and the Agilent's mass hunter bioconform software for data analysis. So this approach offer user flexible uh, workflows for GAICAN relative quantitation at the different analytical level. So in the intact and the body workflow provides a rapid assessment for the uh, major GAICO form of the inter and the body. And the and the body subunit workflow offer detailed quantitative information about the individual uh, GAICAN such as uh, G0F, G1F, and G2F. The GAICO peptide workflow shows uh, the result not only in the GAICAN related quantitation, but also uh, can be uh, identified and glycosylation site. The release GAICAN workflow provides higher um, analytical sensitivity and the best quantitation for the glycan analysis using both uh, fluorescent or the mass spec uh, data. So with this, I want to thank you for your time and attention. That was great. Thank you, Dr. Wong, for that outstanding presentation. We're now going to move into the live Q&A portion. As a reminder, you can still submit any questions you have in the Q&A box. So our first question is, how much antibody do you need for the intact monoclonal antibody and monoclonal antibody subunit glycoform analysis workflows? Um, I normally use about um, 0.5 to 1 microgram per injection. Um, so even though our mass spec system can detect much lower amount of antibody, but this injection amount gives us the more uh, reliable result on the uh, quantitation analysis. Okay. All right, next, can you use the BioConfirm released glycan software with a different sample prep or LC system? I think you mean whether we can use BioConfirm to analyze the glycan with a different fluorescent tag label. Uh, yes, uh, you can do that. The BioConfirm allows user to customize the labeling tag by using either the mask of the, the tag or the chemical formula of the tag. Okay, great. Um, next, can I perform the intact mass, subunit, glycopeptide, and released glycan workflows without the assay map Bravo system? Yes, of course. Uh, but the manual sample prep would take much longer time and the reproducibility is uh, kind of low. Okay, good to know. Um, next, can you detect the minor glycoforms in the intact monoclonal antibody and monoclonal antibody subunit workflows? Uh, not really. Uh, you, we can detect some minor uh, glycoforms such as the uh, G1, G0F plus G1F minus the GLEC-NET 
okay. uh, uh, to detect the more glycan, it's better to run the release glycan workflow. Okay. All right, next. How much antibody do you need for the released glycan analysis workflow on the assay map Bravo? Uh, as described in our app notes, um, the end glycan experiment uh, injected a, a free release glycan um, that is from about one to two microgram of the intact antibody sample. Okay, and we have one final question that was submitted. How long does the assay map released glycan sample preparation take? Um, if I remember correctly, the whole sample prep process time, uh, which including the reagents uh, setup, immobilization, digestion, the instant PC labeling, and also sample cleanup, it takes about two to three hours. Uh, the detailed procedure of that sample prep is uh, described in uh, the uh, application note that provided by the POSIGN. Uh, now, but there's an, a newer sample uh, prep kit called the GlideX uh, with the instant dye that is available, uh, which would take less than one hour in prep time. All right, excellent. Well, that is all the questions that were submitted. So thank you again, Dr. Wong, and thank you to the audience for your attendance and for submitting your insightful questions. We hope you found today's presentation to be informative. It will be available soon for on-demand viewing. Now, don't miss out on the other valuable presentations on our agenda. Um, please visit the event presentation schedule that can be found in the auditorium. So until next time, I hope you all have a great day. Thank you.